Hey guys, just doing a quick shop update. I wanted to show you some changes I made to my flood coolant setup. You may recall I had half inch PVC coming out around the front of the mill here, and I've swapped that for larger one inch. I'm still using the same quarter inch lock lines, although I'm probably gonna change that to three eighths or half inch. I really want to have more volume, and the pump that I have does great on volume, it just it really doesn't put up very much pressure. You can also see I've got a half inch ball valve now, and this just goes down to a few feet of this reinforced half inch uh, ID tubing. And this just allows me to spray out the inside of the pan. Works really great. Before I was just kind of like aiming the lock lines into the corners and trying to wash it out that way, and I could never really get it very clean. This is way better. I'll show you in just a second. You'll notice that I'm using this one inch reinforced braided uh, flex line up to PVC, and then it's PVC down to the sump. Let me show you that. So I was using a five gallon bucket and I would fill it with three gallons of water and then add my cool mist. But I hated that I couldn't see how much coolant I had or what the state of the coolant was. Your coolant changes color over time and then also uh, the water evaporates. The, the higher pressure you run, the more splashing around it does. You'll be surprised how quickly you'll go through flood or through water. The uh, cool mist doesn't really seem to evaporate that much and so you can usually just top it off with water and then check your uh, levels or just add a little more if you don't feel like it's uh, lubricating as well as it should. I'm still using the same filtration system but you'll notice I've got this uh, one inch or this is inch and a half to two inch bushing and then a two inch to four inch uh, flange and then it comes up here and hooks on with a flex coupler and this basically just allows me to lift this on or off when I need to uh, pull the whole thing out. I've also switched to a different pump. Let me show you this. This is called a Atwood Tsunami 1200 gallon per hour. Uh, it's 1200 gallon per hour if you're not lifting. Because I'm lifting six feet, it's rated at more like 700 gallons per hour. This pump will move a lot of volume, but it's terrible on pressure. So it really isn't a huge upgrade as far as volume and pressure go, but I do like this pump and it's quieter than my other pump as well. You can also see that I've got a, a check valve back there. And the reason for that is every time I'd shut off my pump, all of the coolant would flood back down the, the water line that I had. And then when I would turn it on, I'd have to push all that air out and I'd get just a big spatter of spray and mess and foaminess and I just hated that. So I put the check ball in there just to hold the coolant in the line. I think that's gonna work pretty well. Uh, this pump is 12 volts, so I'm using a, uh, it's actually rated at 13.6 at volts. And this is a 13.8 volt power supply it puts out 15 amps. It's more than enough for uh, this pump, but this actually goes to a different um, project. So I'm gonna have to get a different power supply at some point. The Tsunami has really short leads, which is kind of surprising. That's really as long as they are, just from there to there, and then down to the pump. So I'm gonna have to come up with something better. You can see I've got zip ties holding the, uh, you know, the, the line in place. And then this is zip tied up here. Uh, these are just, can you see it? This is just zip tied to a couple of holes that I drilled in the casting of the head from the last uh, flood coolant manifold. So I still need to make some permanent mounts and then check this out. This is even, this is the worst part. Uh, I needed a way to hold up the back of the manifold and I haven't come up with something yet. So I've got that zip tied up to this piece of PVC. I drilled a hole through it. So it's just cantilevered. But it works and it doesn't rub on the back. My, when my head travels up and down, it's absolutely no problem. Let me go ahead and show you what it looks like. This is gonna be kind of difficult one-handed. Let's see, we wanna make sure we don't make a giant mess here. All right, so we're pumping. Turn on the lock lines. And it looks like we got a little bit of a leak right here. Uh, it's not a big deal, but we'll have to fix that. So not, not super, I mean, that's not huge. That's probably about what I had. It, it may be a little bit better than what I had, uh, but again, it's because this pump just does not put out a ton of pressure. But check this out, when I, once that gets flowing, I mean, it really doesn't take away from the amount of volume that's coming out of the quarter inch lines. And then, I mean, look at that. You know, that's just, that's great volume, half inch. I mean, I can get, I can get clear back here and yeah, this is a great addition. This is, I'm glad I did this. I, I needed something like this the whole time and didn't put it in. And I'm just gonna leave this coiled up and let it set there. I could probably build some kind of hook or something and hold it like this and it doesn't matter. It's gonna work fine for now. Anyway, 
that's it. So uh, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're a visitor. And we'll see you in the next video.